Alright, this is the last time I'm going to make this video. I have tried like four times and something goes wrong. Somebody calls me in the middle of it. Door-to-door -door salesman came up and he wouldn't leave and our dog kept barking. Uh, my phone was dead so I charged it real fast. Alright, so quickly. Uh, making this video for my video game collecting friends. And mostly for my family members that live out of state or live a few hours away. Um, that I want you guys to see how I live. That you guys have seen pictures, snippets of how the living room, you know, I, I post game stuff I find. But I, I thought it was time to kill two birds with one stone and show everybody how I live, how I force my family to live with me. Uh, it's hard to say force, they enjoy it. They enjoy everything in here. Uh, I share everything, besides some of the toys, those are mine. No joke. Uh, okay, so let's start here. We got movies, tons of movies from VHS, Blu-ray, DVD. Uh, I have a Laserdisc movie. I need to get a Laserdisc player. Um, I have a few Betamax uh, movies in there. Uh, we got my Tesla work gear, my Tesla jacket, my Tesla hat. Love working for Tesla. Um, not sure if I already said it or not on this video, but love working there. Great hours, great pay. Now that I'm closer to home with the company. Been there over a year now. Love it. Uh, so right here is my arcade. You can see this big, this uh, big beauty in red. Mm -hmm. Hi, lady. How you doing? Uh, that this was bought for me by my wife and my best friend Allison for Father's Day last year. Um, it's, it's fantastic. It was probably the best gift that I've gotten in a long time. Um, that I know I was the one who found it, but I keep saying I want one, and these two beautiful ladies in my life pulled the trigger and got it for me. Um, it was a mess when I got it, painted it, sanded it, painted it, did a lot of work on it, painted everything that needed to be repainted, uh, new buttons on the, the board. Um, has a 501 board in it now. The Neo Geo, you can see right there, Neo Geo, Neo Geo, uh, was an arcade machine at the job core I went to. And it's actually my favorite arcade machine out of every arcade machine I've ever seen. That itself is basically a giant video game machine. I know it sounds weird to say like that, but you can take out the game cartridge and put in another one. Like, you can go to the Sega Genesis. You can pull that one game out, put in another game, without having to change the whole thing. That's what this is. That's why I love it. Besides the fact that it was a job core and I played it almost every day. No joke. Um, so yeah, done a lot of work on it. Put some cup holders on it. My own little art until I can get the site art for it. Um, board games. Lots of board games and toys from when I was a kid. Got like the old laser tag. We've got creepy crawler sets. We've got all kinds of board games and toys. Um, yeah, my arcade machine is my, is, I love this thing. I got a 500, uh, in one game in here. I'll start something up and walk away. Um, yeah, got this. This beautiful like director's type chair that folds up and everything. And I put some uh, some uh, iron-on sheets on that I made. Um, that's loading up. Here's the kitchen. Uh, I've been working real hard the last couple days to organize the house. Everything in the house. Um, living room. Oh, turn the volume down. That I have a spe I have a custom uh, computer. Um, speaker set in here that has bass and everything which is fantastic on this thing and instead of the one basic arcade speaker I've got uh, the two stereo speakers and then a subwoofer uh, that I built inside the, uh, the arcade cabinet just super cheap and it works fantastic uh, new buttons new new uh, joysticks new everything on there this was like how some guys buy a car and they fix this up. That's my equivalent right there. Um, kitchen, like I said, we've I've been uh, cleaning everything lately. Um, I was off work for the last two weeks. I got injured. Um, I've gotten better, and since I've been cooped up for so long, I needed to do something until my weekend's over. Go back to work tomorrow. Uh, so this is a floating island. Well, we made it a floating island. It's a giant butcher block. It's about 115 pounds about. Uh, it was on the street. It was free. It needs to be cleaned up a little more, but uh, I cleaned it up, made it a little floating island, and my wife loves it. And, you know, as long as she's happy, she doesn't ask for much, and this was a project I was more than happy to do. I love working on stuff. All right, to the main event for my family and my fellow game collectors. 
Uh, I got toy stuff everywhere. It's just everywhere in this house. Uh, the little Darth Vader head you put games in. Not games, uh, toys in. Little Star Wars toys. Magnets, like nerd magnets everywhere. These little drink holder things. Uh, you put these on to mark your drink. Um, yeah. Uh, flashlight. I found this at the comic book convention that we went to, and I have a bad habit about opening like 30 year old toys. Like, brand new, nobody's ever opened it, but I'll be the first one. I'll buy it after 30 years, I'll open it, and I'll play with it. Because what's the point in buying a toy if you're not going to play with it, guys? Alright, so to the games. We have PlayStation 1, a bunch of the, the old uh, PlayStation 1 uh, big box games. Sega CD, Sega Saturn, they came like these really thick, uh, let me just pull one up here, like these really thick plastic cases that break really easy, they're like double the size of regular DVD cases, uh, more toys, I have not opened these yet because my wife told me not to, the one few things she's told me not to, uh, more games, let's start from the bottom down here, Ninja Turtle headband, Hung it up so you don't see some of the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't have a home yet. Ninja Turtles cereal bowl from the 1980s. I love that thing. So real, I'll try to keep it brief. That this is the Sega Genesis collection I've got going on here. I've got more in these little tape deck things over here. But Sega Genesis was a big part of my childhood. We had the Sega Channel, and I haven't met very many people who had it. I know it's not rare, but it's just one of those. I don't know everybody had it. So Sega Genesis is a big part of my childhood. I remember my grandma renting video games for us uh, when she babysat us. I remember her buying games for us. It's just, I got beat up a lot. I was inside a lot. I played this machine a lot. So it was a big, big part of my childhood. So it's very special to me. Um, which is why I have like Sega stuff everywhere. All kinds of Sega boxes and stuff. My wife does not approve of these boxes. They're the actual console boxes. That they didn't come with consoles in them, and I bought them, and I'll admit they were over $30 a piece, except for this one. This one actually came, the Sega CD came in here complete. Um, but back over to the shelf, you know, miscellaneous Sega CD, or Sega Genesis, handhelds. Uh, very proud of my handheld collection. I bought all these very cheap. I, I will continue to buy duplicates and stuff because these are getting older, parts are breaking. Uh, like this, the Sega Game Gear with this giant screen attachment on it. Uh, I bought three or four of those um, to combine into one great working one. Um, come up here, we got Sega Saturn imports that only certain games were released in Japan. Or they were just cheaper in the Japanese version than the American version because Sega Saturn wasn't very big here in America uh, as it was in Japan. It was big, not as big as it was in Japan. Uh, so we got Super Nintendo games across the bottom. We've got Nintendo import Super Nintendo games, Nintendo 64. Then we've got Nintendo, Nintendo, bunch of Nintendo Nerf darts. <laughs> this little Ninja Turtle thing right here is from my uh, 28th birthday party that my wife threw for me at my mom's house. And all Ninja Turtle stuff, you would think it was for a kid, but it was for a full grown adult. I'm a full grown adult, but I act like a kid. And you know what? There are worse things I can be. At this age, I can be a total douche, which I am sometimes. But you know what? I'm more... 90% of the time, I'm a happy-go-lucky guy, and this is why. It's just, I come home, I'm relaxed. Oh, anyways, back to the tour. I've got old stuff right here. I got like a, oh, it's in a handheld, didn't know it was up here. Uh, the old Ninja Turtle cards uh, that I have opened those, and I put them back into the cases, the wrappers. Um, more toys, mostly like PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Um, but you'll see like, as the older the machine gets, the more games I have for it, just because I prefer a lot of the older systems. Uh, like uh, up here, I have a picture somewhere of my aunts playing these uh, little handhelds with like these giant magnifying glasses on them. These were big when I was a kid, and I've got like a big bag of batteries here. So everything requires batteries. Uh, PlayStation 2 games, Xbox games, stuff that doesn't have cases from like uh, the thrift stores and GameStop. More toys, these little Magneto. These X-Men toys are really cool. i got some more I'll show off here in a minute. Um, catchphrase. I love playing this with, my, with everyone in my family. Um, indoor toolbox. I keep for repairing. This is kept inside for repairing video game stuff. My big work tools um, are kept outside in a box. A uh, big toolbox. But these are for like inside so that way they're quick to grab. I don't have to go hunting for stuff. 
Um, try to hurry this up here. Uh, over here we've got uh, coffee table. You know, this rug is actually really funny to me. Is that this? My wife bought this for our son's room, and the night that she brought it in, I stole it and I put it out here because I wanted it. Uh, I'm, I'm a horrible father. I know. Um, but yeah, no, this is mine now. Stays in the living room. I think it looks cool. It goes with everything that's out here. We've got Sonic the Hedgehog pillows. They're not rare. Uh, they're not. They're not very common. I haven't seen very many online. I've seen this guy online, but not these guys. Um, I love these. Got them at the flea markets. Um, but yeah, let's come back over here. We've got the coffee table, which has been cleaned up and organizing stuff lately. Getting boxes to organize stuff. Video game controllers. We've got like a uh, video game encyclopedias. We've got like. These old 1970s, uh, early 80s uh, encyclopedias that tell you everything about every superhero at that point. Um, video game magazines. We've got this big, very big... Uh, when I read it, I look like a small child reading a full regular edition comic book. Things huge. It dwarfs regular comic books. Uh, so anyways, right at the table we've got uh, controllers. We've got Nerf guns. Me and my family have been really into Nerf guns lately. Uh, I've been removing the air restrictors in there, so they actually work really good now. That if you're within five feet, they sting. But when you're actually running and chasing and playing with someone, you're more than ten to fifteen feet away. So they work how we feel they should they should work. Anyways, box boxes have controllers in them because I've learned my lesson not to leave the controllers hooked up to everything because it makes the biggest mess. They get tugged, they get you know all looped up and everything, and it just Pain in the ass. Uh, surround sound, TV, newer game consoles. Uh, oh, I love these things. That these are official Nintendo uh, game holders. That you would find these at like video game stores or rental stores, and they put like you know top rentals of games and everything. Uh, more toys, the boxes. My wife doesn't approve of these. I think I already said that in this video. It's like I said, it's like the third or fourth time I've done the video because it's something stupid. I uh, love these things. Uh, dinner tray that I found for 50 cents and like 30 bucks online. I think finding stuff like that's cool. Um, so yeah, we come down here. It's my video game rocking chair. I sit in here when I play on the, the TV. Play a lot of the older games on here because they look way better than they do on the HD TVs. I know I have a nice big sofa here. Uh, sofa chair, lazy boy. But I love sitting in this thing more. Uh, this game shelf is... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons magazines under on top everything besides that box. Uh, video game like Game Boy carrying cases, Sega game, uh, Sega Game Gear, Sega Nomad, uh, Game Boy Advance carrying cases. Uh, on top, I got a bunch of toys, X Men cartoons, X Men posters, Sega posters, Nintendo posters. Sega was a big part of my life. I'm not sure if I said it in this video. Uh, See, I got Sega stuff everywhere. Um, like right here, I keep Sega games in here, in these. Yeah, so everything, all Sega stuff is easy to get to. Uh, big box game stuff, uh, double system, like you got two GameCubes, two Nintendo 64s. Uh, Sega Mash system like this. I bought this off eBay for like 15 bucks. Working, they go for around 40 to 50. I got it for 15, it was a $3 part. So, you know, it's just awesome to me to, to take broken somebody's junk and fix it and make it mine. Uh, we got like the Japanese Famicom. This is what Nintendo was before it came over to America. This is this is what Nintendo was before it came to America. Look at the size of that cartridge and then like look what we've got. We got these huge. It's almost the size of the machine. Um, yeah, and then just take a little step back over here. Um, I got like, a little disco light right here. It spins, lights up the room. It's really cool. Um, extra Nintendo for parts. Um, this Zelda lamp that I made, uh, I need to redo it. That I made the frame too big, so the pictures have become warped from the heat from the light bulb. Um, oh, Zelda. Okay, there we go. Link. Really cool art that I found online. Um, yeah, the light bulb has just destroyed this. I have a uh, T8 um, light bulb system inside my house that lights up the house like a video store. Which, as you can see from the inside of my house, it looks like a video store to slash toy store. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to rant, trying not to repeat myself. Um, 
yeah um like i said video game stuff everywhere just i have plans to put game stuff up here along the way i had some shitty little chinese knockoff swords that were up there um oh i didn't didn't display these yet i made these uh curtains uh from fabric from joanne the back side is like this um um sweater type material and the outside is like you know bed sheet type material and these things work great they block out the sun completely from this window they keep all the heat out because this window is huge and we get the sun through this window all day and it warms up the house so bad but once i put these up way easier to keep it cool during the summer i'm hoping that during the winter it's going to help keep the warmth in um yeah come back around we got logan right here say hi buddy hi uh yeah so yeah oh i don't know if i said this got a little cup holder here that i put on you know it makes it easy for me to sit and relax and play my games um want to just say real fast that i know a lot of you may think that i'm a giant child it's because you know what i come home I'm relaxed, but when I'm at work, those of you I've worked with, you guys know, I may bitch a lot. I get my shit done. It, it just gets done. That when I'm at work, I'm at work. When I'm at home, you know what? I don't care about work. I'm here to relax and enjoy my time with my family. And these are the things that we enjoy that, um, not to sound like I'm preachy or whatever, everything, but this is my life. This is how we choose to live it. We have a great time together. We love each other. Um, I see right here we got Logan getting ready to play a game that he can, he knows how to switch out. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I've shaken the camera and probably giving you guys seizures and Tourette's and everything. Um, alright. Thank you guys. Bye.